Hey guys, Ryan King here, and I'm the keyboard instructor for WorshipArtistry.com. In today's YouTube lesson, we're going to take a look at a chapter out of a lesson on chord basics. And in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to take three chords in your right hand, and simply by changing the roots in your left, you can play all of the foundational chords of a major scale. Now, I'm only going to work on this specific chapter, so if you want to see the entire lesson and have access to all of the practice resources, you need to click the link and head over to Worship Artistry where you can sign up for a free account. But just in case you want to check out a YouTube video, this is for you. The triad is the most basic of all chords, and it's built off of the 1, 3, and 5 of a scale. So if we took C major, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we play 1, 3, and 5, there's our C major triad. If we move up to F, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there's F major. Move up to G, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there's G. So again, C, F, and G. Now we can also play D, E, B, E flat, B flat, and so on. So that's the triad. Now, in order to be a foundational instrument, we need to kind of keep our voicings in a specific register of the piano. If we start moving too high, it won't feel as strong. So for example, if I played in the key of C, I could play this. C, F, G, and C. Notice that in my right hand, I'm just playing triads. C, F, G, and C. Now there's nothing wrong with that, but if we change to a different key, it won't sound necessarily as strong. So if we went to the key of E, and I played E, A, B, and E, it doesn't sound as strong. Not as strong as say this. Now notice that second example is stronger and fuller than the first example. And that's basically because we've stayed more in the middle register of the keyboard. As we move up, it begins to get thinner and it's just not as strong. And so when we're wanting to provide that foundation to the song, we want to stay more in the middle of the keyboard. We don't want to get too low because it could get muddy. We don't want to get too high because it could get real tinny sounding and real thin. We want to be foundational. So that's the reason we change our inversion. The biggest way that you can change your inversion is to take the top note of a chord and bump it down an octave, or take the bottom note and bump it up an octave. So let's take that E major triad, for example. If I take the B and bump it down an octave, I've got a different inversion. If I do it again, take the G sharp, move it down an octave, there's another inversion. So this is the inversion that I used for the E. So instead of playing E up here, I just bumped it down an inversion and another inversion. Then I went to A, notice I have an A major triad here, which is fine. And then when I went to B, I have a different inversion. I could have done this, but I chose to move it down an octave. Bump the F sharp down an octave, and now you've got a different inversion. And that allows us to have a stronger sound, a more full, and a more foundational sound, as opposed to just using triads. And so that's the basic of all chords is the triad, and as we move forward in the lesson, we're going to change up our inversions just a little bit so that we can have foundational chords. Be sure to click the link and head over to WorshipArtistry.com where you can sign up for a free account today. Every lesson comes with a music video where you can change different video angles, as well as step-by-step -step instruction for different sections of the song. We also have loop videos that you can practice along to, as well as sheet music, chord charts, guitar tabs, and a whole lot more. So what are you waiting for? Click the link and sign up for a free account today.